Hi guys and welcome back to Feed the Beast Infinity. This is Casual Kiwi and this episode we want to crack on with a few things. We are going to go ahead and make a proper mining age from Miscraft. I've been doing some hunting around and I found a bunch of books so hopefully everything's going to work and it's all going to have no um, bad things going on. It's going to be nice and bright and a little bit of a trick for you as well which I'm going to show you in a few minutes. Um, first things first I just want to apologize if my movement moving around is a bit jerky and a bit stupid because I I burnt my uh, left hand, which I use for my WASDA keys, um, on the oven tonight while I was cooking tea. So real, real clever there. But I, of course, I burnt the three fingers um, when I picked up an oven tray. Really, really smart. Had the glove on the other hand, picked it up with the hand without a glove. Real clever. Anyway, first things first, I have got something ready to go. So we're going to hit those keys. There we go. Oh, geez, bit of lag. And... Guess what? I have got ready to go. Our quarry stopped running, by the way, so we are fresh out of resources. But we're going to get go ahead. I went to the Nether and mined a whole heap more lapis, and we're going to go ahead and we can craft one of these bad boys now. So if I hit next, it's going to take forty one hundred lapis, eight thousand redstone, um, nine thousand six hundred and sixty four glass. Uh, this is taking a lot of stuff. It's only using one shiny ingot, eighty seven ferrous. 81 steel nuggets um, no that's what what's available uh, what's it, it's got to craft 12,000 steel nuggets it's got to craft 12,000 of them that is insane um, it's got to craft four enderium to get 36 enderium nuggets this is just madness 1355 refined iron ingots 36,000 lapis shards um, I had to go ahead and make a whole lot more crafting storage as well, but we're going to hit start on that bad boy, and we're going to see how long this thing takes. This is going to take a freaking long time from what I can tell, but that is in there. This is in this beast, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 64k storage units. We've also got some 64k star storage up there, but none of it's big enough to handle this job, only this bad boy. So this is making a butt ton of stuff. Now the stupid thing is it hasn't started making refined iron already, which is something we should be doing. It should be doing that. But hey, we'll let it do its thing. We need the extra power to run this quarry. It's going to give us another, I think, 4,000 redstone flux per tick, which will be amazing. Because at the moment, we have got down here our capacitor bank, absolutely full, vibrant capacitor bank. We should go ahead and make another one of those, to be fair. Um, at least another one. God, we should have a heap of them stacked together but we will get to that what i wanted to do this episode oh if i can get upstairs is we want to do a little bit of miscraft now i've been playing and i've been going around and actually if i show you in here i have got this guy so this is a symbol portfolio now this is absolutely chock a full of all the symbols I have collected. So I've been going around and what you get is these collation folders. You can also get another folder. I can't remember what it's called now. Um, if we if we go out of there and we go Mistcraft, you can get these guys here, a sealed notebook. So with the sealed notebooks, if you right click on them, quite often they'll have two or three or sometimes up to like six or so of these collation folders inside them. Now, they are really cool because when you have one of these guys and a full one of these collation, collation folders, if you grab it and you shift right click it on that, as you can see on here, these little uh, papery edges of all the bits of paper, the symbols held inside the folder, will transfer into this uh, main symbol portfolio. And then once you've got that guy in there, you have all of your symbols all in there and they are all completely searchable so the last one i got the hardest one to find so far it took me for freaking ever was one called normal oh not normal normal and it was normal lighting normal moon normal stars normal sun normal sun was the hardest one for me to find that was a real pain in the ass actually but we got there in the end so what we've got is this collation folder. Now this is the beginnings of my mining age. So if we start at the beginning here, we should have no weather, then we should have bright lighting, and then we should have a flat world, and then we should have 
mushroom biome. Now the mushroom island shore biome, the reason I have done that is because when you use an ender quarry, you cannot tell where you have mined. Now with the mushroom island, when it mines, it turns it to dirt. So you can see exactly where you've mined without having to have the world hole upgrade is really, really helpful. Um, you can just move your ender quarry over by one block, leave one block in between if you want to, or you can link them up together with your um, ender markers. Um, and without having to have the world hole upgrade, uh, you can see exactly where you've mined. Really helpful on a server if you're making a mining age. Um, but the next one anyway, we should have single biome distribution so that we only have the mushroom biome. And then we have a, oh, did I go backwards? I think I did. Mushroom, uh, the east direction, which I think is where the sun is, rise in the east, sets in the west. We've got zero length. So that means I think the sun is going to be, or well, the day is going to be zero length. So it's not going to change. I think that's what it means. And then zenith phase means the sun will be at its brightest. And then we're up to the next one. And that is where we want normal sun. So now all we need to do is right click and that puts normal sun in. You need paper, you need ink, and you need a folder for it to go into. Right, so after we've got normal sun, we want to get an easterly direction, like so, and right click him, and then we want, um, after that, we want full length, like uh, that guy and then we want and if you right click in this box by the way it just uh, erases it we want setting setting phase which is fine going the wrong way again and then we want normal moon which should be normal, normal moon this is just getting the moon in the right place and then we want normal stars which is there and then we want clear modifiers clear modifiers this guy here I am going to put him in twice now we should have if we can count them one two three this is gonna be a bit tricky four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen um, I'm gonna leave it at sixteen you can put in more supposedly putting in more should remove any bad effects that's why I've put a second clear modifiers in um, I've seen these worlds made with no bad effects with 16 pages though so we're gonna try running it that and we're gonna see how it goes so we're going to name this one Mining Age Revision 2 because this is my second try to be fair guys um, the first try worked pretty well really did except for I did not have normal sun yet so it ended up with dark sun in there it was still bright but it had dark sun so things didn't mobs didn't spawn except for in weird certain areas I've got it got the book made so I will show you that in a moment but it is quite a strange one so you, you just go ahead like I did take that folder out it's got all those pages inside they're all copied so you haven't taken the pages from the binder by just doing the right click and then you want to shove this guy in here uh, there sorry like that and then what do we need we need to name it which was mining age rev 2 enter um, paper I can't remember what we needed in there now I thought that was all we did I was sure it was all we did in there oh we need a blank page don't we boom blank panel no sorry and there and then we have a descriptive book nice and it's got all those things in it okay time for the test so we need to make a book stand book no oh what's that thing a printed book from computer craft must be manuals for computer craft what are these things called it is a book stand it's just all one word thought it was book stand we'll make two of these guys one two like so and then we need a, another 
um, one of you and a piece of leather boom so these guys here with the leather what you do is you combine them like so, which I should have done, and that creates an unlinked linking book. So then all you do is you grab that guy, you shift, right click it where you want to return to, and now when we go to this age, we have a way of getting back. I think I might have one in here already. I thought I did, but I think they keep disappearing. I keep making them and shoving them in my backpack, but I have a feeling they keep disappearing on me. So we'll keep this one in here for now. As you can see, I've got a lot of these collation folders. Um, we found a lot of pages, a lot of pages. Um, but that's worked for now. So what, what we're going to do, we're going to throw one of these guys here. We're going to throw this descriptive book onto it, like so. Mining Age, Revision 2. We're going to left click, and we're going to see what happens. Give us the good feels, team. It's bright, it's bright, that's a good start. Um, hopefully this all works out. We haven't got a mushroom biome, and we have got some bad, bad effects. We've got some very bad effects. Why did that not work? What in the crap hills? It is a mushroom biome, but it's dirt. What? Okay. Severe, severe disappointment. Severe, severe disappointment. Hmm. My last age was better. I think we're going to run with my last age. Okay, um, we need to get back. So we need that, and we need that. We're gonna run out here, and cop some poison. Poison? Hunger and poison, lovely. So this one's severely nasty, and we're gonna go back. Okay. So why is that world so freaking nasty? I don't know whether Miscraft is bugged or what's going on, but in here, if we go to this one, it's bright we've got the mycelium ground which is awesome because it'll turn to dirt when we've done a thing and we haven't got any any modifiers except when we get out here we get i thought we had it must be under something yeah now we've got one we get weakness but to be fair we're not going to be battling any mobs or doing anything in here the only thing is it is perpetually dark but we don't have mobs spawning unless well, up on these guys I think because they're dirt and they're not spawning on the mycelium so the problem is gonna be when we oh that's a blizz we're gonna try and kill him the problem is gonna be nice I've got a blizz rod when we um, get dirt see I don't know why there's a bunch of mobs over here it's because they're in the darkness that that is creating as far as I can tell so maybe those guys are in the darkness because those trees are creating coverage. Um, don't really know, but I think we're going to run with this one for now. Uh, where are we? Where is our portal? We've gone past it. There. Nice. So what we'll do is we shall go back and we'll set up our quarry. Should we set up our quarry? Go back and set up our quarry? I think we should. Um, oh, snowballs. Nice. Snowballs and blizz rods. Get rid of those. We've got some torches. Always hit E on that for some reason. Grab that, 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 and that. Nice. And we'll quickly head to, yes, this one, and set up a quarry. Um, okay, so where are we going to do this? We're going to do it right freaking here. We're going to put this guy down for a start. Boom. That should stop any mobs from spawning that are going to spawn. We, by rights, we shouldn't have any anyway. Ender quarry. We're going to put nowhere. We're going to use these guys. Where's that tree? That tree is right there. We're going to put it there. So we're going to go this way a bunch. Of course, there's a bloody... Ah, you know what? I'm going to have to bore through things and all that sort of stuff. So I will be back in a moment when I've got this guy marked out and all set up with like a 200 by 200 quarry or something. And I'll be back. See you soon. Okay, guys. It's only been a couple of minutes. I'm back. We have got a 
successfully established boundary it's saying the zero blocks mine because i haven't put any power onto the dang thing yet uh, but that's fine we're going to go ahead and throw that guy on there we're going to throw our speed upgrade on here oh yeah, like so and then we're gonna throw a tesseract this guy on here nice and then we should be able to hit kiwi quarry katunk and then we should have stuff filling up nice so that all should be heading back we've got our quarry doing our thing working our job and we should be able to see somewhere that it is starting with any luck we should be able to find it it should be starting on an edge now I'm hoping that there will be a one square block of dirt sort of showing us where it started around the outside there we go nice so this is going to turn to grass um, so what this is doing this is traveling see it's just moved one block forward it's traveling down creating grass as it as it moves through so it is actually mining exceptionally fast like exceptionally fast you can see the particle effects of it doing its mining job and wow it's doing a chunk at a time and doing it very quickly nice is exactly what we want to see um, and that's how you can tell where you've mined in a mushroom biome world so the only problem with this one is we don't have the sun out it is bright so you can see what's going on which i think is what's keeping the mobs at bay um, but it is a dark sun but as you saw when i added the bright sun or the normal sun sorry we um, got all sorts of nasty effects and it wasn't a mushroom world and we also got um, poison and hunger whereas this one we only have weakness so i think this is going to work quite well for us we're going to stick with this one for now anyway um, probably do a fair bit of mining here because we can see what we're doing awesome okay we're about 20 minutes into the episode oh big lag spike again um fingers aren't hurting too bad i've just taken up playing a little bit of cs go i've been really enjoying it um but the, the reason i sort of brought that up is i'm having some severe issues with my internet at the moment i've gone ahead and i have paid to get upgraded to fiber so here in new zealand fiber is not very common um so it's all new and getting dug in in the streets and all that sort of thing we're a bit behind the times down here um but i'm getting fiber sometime this month but that means i've changed providers and by doing that i have lost my um vdsl i think they called it so i'm now just back to standard broadband so it's taking me an absolute age to upload upload one episode one episode is taking me like say 14 hours to upload to youtube by the time i've rendered it and stuff that that's not including the rendering that's after the rendering and and um any editing and stuff like that so it is taking me an age so that's probably why the videos have slowed down a little bit plus i've been playing a little bit of csgo which hasn't helped because uh that is quite addictive i have to say um okay what else were we going to move on to we can head downstairs and check and see how this is coming along um well that's still got 5,000 sand to create okay we've got a heap of sand and no we don't have any sand storage that is something we should remedy how many hmm 17 of 32 channels okay uh oh that might run out further along five of eight hmm well, yeah that's going back here okay yeah no we are very low on channels um how many yeah 30 that's full okay so we'd have to take it from here um we should do a sand storage area so that we can have a bunch more sand from our quarry hmm okay that is all well and good and is sucking items in like no one's business if we go in here it's showing cobble stored again um, and now that we've got that going and is this thing using the cobble yet i wonder uh not that sorry this guy this has got stored 5500 is that all it needs it looks like it is so we can go back over here oh we're gonna need some form of block there aren't we um we'll grab three of those we'll just whack a cobble there 
and then we need our wrench I've just gone ahead and disconnected this to get some cobble for this craft because um, it wasn't keeping any um, oh, this is gonna be fun if we shift left click we should be able to change that to extract always active and we've got nine um, speed upgrades in there so that this is just extracting like crazy look at that and that is sending it all downstairs to our um, not autonomous activators our cyclic assemblers to start making some bedrockium so that is taking an age an absolute age we've got six six tuple set tuple compressed cobblestone now um, but it's getting there getting there we only need another three um, but that's only just finished the sixth one. Crikey, th this game was open and running all day. I was out having some fun with my daughter today, and the game has been running just on the background of my computer all day while I've been out, and I've still only got six. That's insane. Um, we are completely full on mana. We've got four full mana pools, so it's not a lot. We should really up our mana game. But to be fair, I haven't actually been doing anything with it. So, um not really too sure where to progress at the moment um, flick me any thoughts any ideas what you want me to do um, and we will certainly work on that what have we got in the way of capacitors we're gonna create four of you guys missing gold nuggets okay we can make some gold nuggets that's no biggie I can't believe we haven't taught things let's teach this guy how to make a gold nugget. What's the bit we don't have any freaking cabasta uh, that makes nine of those, doesn't it? Any blank storage thingies. That's not what we want. Not this guy. Oh, we do. Amazing. We've got one. So one of these, not this one, creates nine of those. Boom. Done skis. Clear that. Into molecular assembler. Any of the available slots. We'll stick it in that one. Nice. Capacitor. Boom. Ah, we want four. Next start. Cool. That should be using this one, I guess. No. Oh, missed. That one. It is. So it's cooking some stuff. Crafting 22 of those. So it is cooking a. Mm, yeah, these guys. A bunch of stuff that's cooking sand into normal glass nice um, okay what I was gonna do was make a capacitor bank but that looks like it's gonna take a while really really does obviously turning off my mob farm works for stopping the cats okay so we might have to remember that next time that is fan freaking tastic I have to say I was so sick of those damn cats oh they were driving me batty absolute batty and you guys batty as I could tell from some of the comments. Um, okay. I wanted to mention too about... Uh, why is that doing that stuff? That shouldn't be smelting Eulorium, I didn't think. Um, I don't want that smelting Eulorium. I'm going to get rid of that out of there. Because it's turning it into Uranium. Which I don't really want. Um, in case we go for a big reactor because I'm not sure if in the configs if I've got that enabled I probably could just change the configs. I suppose we might have to do that um, For all you guys out there if you and girls if you don't know um, With the uranium from IC2 this stuff here see I've got six and a half thousand ingots of it that there if it's for the advanced solar panels you can also use it to make reactor casings and things like that for big reactors um, but quite often it won't actually take it as a fuel that is a config setting you can go ahead and swap that in the configs um, and it will allow you to use it well we have used a lot of stuff to make this solar panel um, awesome what have we got in the way did that take that all into there did not what have we got in the way of shiny ingots shiny we've got 121 shiny ingots so we can make quite a few tesseracts now that is freaking awesome um, how's oh that's not where i want to look how are those capacitors coming along we've got one one of four okay two look at that okay maybe they're, they're coming a bit freaking fast now Oh yeah, it's just crafting these guys up. Lovely. So it's not going to be too far away now. By the time it crafts these two, we should have two more. 
three. Okay, so we want to make vibrant capacitor banks. Vibrant capacitor bank, not a full one, this guy here. And of course we need a vibrant crystal, which is emerald surrounded by vibrant alloy nuggets. Vibrant alloy nuggets, do we have any vibrant? We need to craft some of those. So we're gonna craft about four of those just for for the hell of it. Jolly good. So that'll be in this one, I guess. No. This guy here. Yep, because it had Oh, I didn't want to cancel that. Ah, I hit the wrong button. Vibrant. God dang it. God dang it. For next start. Do your thing. Um, so I wonder if that even got there. It did, apparently. Jolly good. So they're not actually taking that long. Okay, that's good. So, VIB. We've got two already. We need to make one of you into uh, these guys. Like so. Nice. And then... I actually bet that was already up on the screen, but oh well. So we need to make one of you. Boom. We need to make nothing. Oh, of course we do. Electrical steel. Electrical steel. How many do we want? Ten? Yeah, why not? Start. Sand. Oh, is it going to wait? for everything. What is it waiting on? Stored 10, stored 10, stored 5, crafting 5. Where is it making them? Ah, oh, so we need 10 silicon. It's, oh, okay, it's crafting the coal in there. Fantastic. Fantastic. Crafting 1. Ah, oh, okay. No, it's doing its thing. I don't know what machines it's using. It's pulverizing sand and then is that set to do that? It must be set to do that. Import bus. Uh, that guy. It is. Okay, jolly good. Jolly, jolly good. Getting a bit lost with my own machines, apparently. Oh, this guy's crafting it back there. Nice. Okay. Um, so we want electrical. ELE. We've got five. Boom and boom. Like so. Kaflunk. That guy. Nice. And we should be able to go down here and go kaflunk, like so. And now we have a max input of 50,000, output of 50,000. Pretty sure we can up that, and a max storage of 50 million. Lovely. So, by rights, when the solar panel is complete, we should be able to just whack that guy on there. Um, and not in there, we can't see him in there, or we could see him, can we see him in there? I'm pretty sure we can, we can go like this, crafting status, and look at this guy, which is actually really handy, I always forget that you can do that, that's why I keep like jumping downstairs and looking at what's going on. Um, what I might do guys, I'm not sure how long this is going to take, I think it's going to take longer than, yeah, it's going to take a very long time. It's crafting 2,500 of those. Hmm, I don't think I'm going to wait around for this. <laughs> I was tempted to just like cut now and uh, wait till this is built and then throw it on to show my power um, coming back up for the end of the video. But you know what? No, it's not happening because otherwise it's like 9.30 at night here already. I've got work tomorrow because it's Sunday here. You guys, it's still, uh, still Saturday. Um, and I don't want to be up till freaking one o'clock in the morning waiting for this thing to finish. So I'm going to leave it at that. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I love watching this little interface, watching it do all its things. I think it's really, really awesome. I love this mod. Um, I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to hit that like button. Always got to check that in there. See ya.